Hmm, what are we gonna do today? What's it sound like when you shake like 30 Pasca pens at a time? A little anticlimactic. I actually know what we're gonna do today. But you don't know yet, so let's go on an adventure, all right? So in this little cubby, we have tons of sketchbooks. And some of these are old. Ooh, 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 what is this one? What is this one? Ah, we are definitely doing this. This is my zigzag sketchbook. Perfect canvas right here. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I actually see some really good ones up here. So let's get this one. Ooh, this is great. This will be a perfect canvas too. My... My completely green sketchbook. This is my ELO sketchbook. I done filled that so fast. <laughs> I need to get another one of those. Oh dude, I could do this one too. This is nice. All right, all right, we have one, two, three, four, five <laughs> sketchbooks to make over. Dude, this one is, do you hear that sound? Luxury material. Hope we don't ruin it. Let's go on our adventure now. I feel like these are like my babies. Okay, this majestic baby is getting a makeover. I'm going to do a moth. Ooh, is this upside down? No, okay. Wow, this is a nice sketchbook. All right, we're just gonna switch to the bigger marker see what kind of damage we can do. Let's take a tea break with my little baby Yoda and his little baby pug riding up top. Oh, watch out for the face. There you go, right on the ears. I am drinking Lady Grey. What are you guys drinking today? Hmm? Care to share? Wow, this is getting poetic. All right, instead of this gold Posca pen, I will be substituting it for this gold leaf marker. Let's be real, I love Posca pens, but they need to work on their gold marker game. It's just not as good as this one, so. Guys, I can't find my white Posca pen. Hey, we found them. They were literally right here. Look at that. Look at that gold. And just dot some of it in through here too. It's really weird looking at it from different angles. It just, it looks different. It's so cool. I think I'm gonna turn some of these details like this pretty teal color. Ah, that is a game changer for sure. Okay, I think this one is done because this material is a little scratchy, I guess you could say. And it is ruining the nibs of my markers. So before I do any more damage, here we go. I'm pretty happy with it though. What an absolute cutie. All right, tabula rasa, blank slate. I am thinking of doing something quite fun for this one, so. <coughs> Alrighty, I want to do a bunch of plants, flower pots, some terracotta pots. Okay. Uh, Let's just see what we can do here. Oh, I feel like I'm defacing such a beautiful material. <laughs> so 
sounds like I'm opening and closing a zipper like 53,000 times. <laughs> All right, this first pot here is gonna be a ponytail palm because I have one in my art studio and it's a beauty. This might be kind of hard to do. <laughs> I just realized it. All right, next I have a really sweet looking plant in my studio. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna draw it. Ooh, I wanna do some sort of like weird leafy purple and green plant here. <laughs> That's an obnoxious leaf, girl. All right. Um, <laughs> what should we do for the next one? I think I just want to do something like poofy and cute for this one, so... Time to go over this background again. And, girl, we need to just move some of these markers out of the way. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. I really like this. Dare I say this might be one of my favorite Posca pen <laughs> projects I've ever done. I don't know why, but it just kind of feels like an old painting to me, and it's just really fun. Plus, it's in this sweet sketchbook. You guys remember that? <laughs> All right, let's do another. I think there's an eye in literally every <laughs> sketchbook I've done. Hmm. Aw, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I just got an idea. I might have to turn it sideways for this. Pull up these sleeves. Okay, I'm feeling kind of inspired from my own washi tape. If you guys don't know, I developed a washi tape called Peaceful Sky. It was actually inspired by a Creatures of Peace drawing. It's super, super cute. Anyway, uh, just to advertise for myself, you can get this at mirabyler.com. I want to do something kind of like this but with a twist. So I'm just gonna leave that there for my inspo. Well, this is pilling up quite a bit. Mm. Boo! Now, there's a really funny twist coming. I think it's funny, but just, just you wait and see. Wow, this is just not Posca pen material. This one is kind of failing, actually. Just eh. yuck. Don't use Posca pens on paper like this. I'll let that dry and then peel it off a little bit. <laughs> a little dizzy, yo. Is this dry yet? I'll get as much off as I can. Okay, let's take this purple. All right, look, I thought this was gonna be easy and cute 
And then all this paper pilling started happening, so... Not so cute anymore. But let's be real, the concept of this would be super cute on a giant painting, am I right? Alright guys, that is what I have today. So I like this one because the color of the linen over top of this is more natural. It's like an oatmeal color. So this moth kind of looks a little vintagey, which is, I would say, my style. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I picked this up and it was just like, nope. Okay, I don't know which one my favorite is now because this one was really fun. It kind of gives me Animal Crossing vibes even though I don't have the game, so I feel really left out right now. <laughs> and then we have this little guy, which I was hoping for better, but this sketchbook, to be honest, it just kind of sucks. And it's really cheap and it pills up, so. So these were more like fun little doodles. So I hope this inspires you to maybe dig out your old sketchbooks and doodle on the covers. Um, or sketchbooks you haven't used or finished before. For instance, I have a lot of filling to do on this one. Anyway, I thought I'd do something like small and fun today because I have some really big projects on the way and I'm, I'm so excited for these ones. So this was a nice like chill, easy, fun video that I just, I really felt like doing this. So I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye.